What's going on guys, Sticks here with the Token Minorities, bringing you another TCG O and Chill Sesh, because to be quite honest, I kind of forgot to have something recorded for today, and considering I'm in the middle of exam season, uh, and that, uh, what is it, Crimson Invasion, wow, I can, can't believe that I just had a complete brain fart on that, but Crimson Invasion is coming out tomorrow, and... I just wanted to give you guys a little update video on that as well as, you know, actually keep my uploads consistent, well, as consistent as I can. So basically, I'm just going to do another TCGO and chill sesh just with some, probably some legacy decks might play, might play a couple fun ones, but maybe just some real ones as well. So basically, what I wanted to talk about in this video today is the fact that Crimson Inv Invasion is coming out tomorrow well yeah tomorrow when this video goes up I'm having to pre-record this just a little bit because I have an exam a gigantic exam at that on the day that Crimson Invasion comes out so I'm using tonight as a gigantic study session like just straight up nose to the grindstone I am going hard studying as hard as I can for it and this is right in the middle of exam season two so I went from an exam Wednesday today I have one Tuesday I have one Thursday so yeah med school exams are absolutely nothing to joke about so that's fun on my end but also uh yeah crimson invasion is coming out tomorrow and if there's some, one thing that you guys have learned about me it's that i try to get a video out the day of or at least well actually the day of that a new set comes out and i've been doing that for the past couple years and i like to think that that's something that i can hang my hat on well i have 200 crimson invasion codes coming in that being said I was told that they were supposed to be here on Friday, so we'll see if that actually comes to fruition. But in the case that they don't, I just wanted to let you guys know that I do have videos that are going to be in the process of being made. I just have to get them. I just have to get my codes, get the cards that I need in order to be able to actually make the videos and put them out there. So if there's something that doesn't happen the day of, I believe me, I'm as disappointed as you guys are that I'm not able to get a video out so I do apologize for that but just know that those videos will be coming and they will be coming as soon as I get the stuff and wow I don't get much of anything at all so uh, anyway no energy for me but regardless uh, yeah that's basically what I wanted to say Crimson Invasion is coming out tomorrow I always try to have a video the day of however I haven't been playing enough to build up enough coins as you guys can kind of see between battles or between matches I straight up just don't have enough coins I haven't had enough time to play because you know med school is a thing and it's slowly killing me but regardless I am going there is a video in the works like the codes are gonna be in and as soon as I get the codes uh, and as soon as I get the codes, I'm going to be making the video for you guys as quickly as I can. So, yeah, I mean, that's that's what's going on there uh, on my end. Well, first of all, I'm not getting any energy at all. So there's that. But yeah, I'm in the middle of exams. It's killing me like I mean the fact that I have two uploads a week and I've had to resort to a bunch of TCGO and chill sessions is something that I wouldn't necessarily like prefer to do I'd prefer to have deck videos like different decks out every single week and then just occasionally do a TCGO and chill sesh but unfortunately due to time constraints on my end I am forced to do a lot more TCGO and chill seshes than I would like but I mean I'm still Still just trying to get that content out there for you guys because I know that, well, I mean, you guys mean a lot to me. And I want to show my appreciation, even if I'm super busy, I really want to show my appreciation in any way that I can. So I do apologize, but this is just something that, this is just something that I'm going to have to deal with at one point or another. So I finally get some stuff going right here. Uh, this is a... Landorus, Mewtwo, and Buffalant deck that I am using right now, so, um, actually, yeah, let's just go ahead and, does he have Fighting Resistance? Nope, so we will get a knockout right there, but regardless, yeah, just very busy, but still going to try to keep up the two-a-days, or not two-a-days, wow, if I could manage two-a-days, that'd be insane, um, 
still trying to manage uh, the two weekly, which I think I should be able to do. It's just there will have to be more TCGO and chill seshes than I would necessarily like. But okay, my opponent is going to go for... Uh, he gets a confusion, of course he does. So let's grab a Mewtwo, play this down, laser, hypnotoxic laser, and see if I can draw into the switch. And let's just hope that we can draw into it right now. Uh, I do not, but I do get a float stone, which unfortunately I can't do much with. So you know what? Let's just let's just see if we can hit heads. Oh, we actually do hit heads. So Golette has 80, Yamask has 60. Uh, let's go for this. There we go. So there we go. We are able to knock out the Drifloon. And <laughs> so this is actually kind of working out well. I know my opponent isn't using like a super top tier deck or anything, but hey, it works. We take those. And yeah, so life is incredibly hectic. I'm still going to be putting out the videos like I have been, but I'm just asking for a little bit of understanding on your part if I'm not able to get a video out the day that Crimson Invasion comes in. Like it's, if I had my druthers, I would be getting those codes and as soon as I got done with the exam, I would be go heading right on over to TCGO and being able to just, uh, I'd be heading right on over to TCGO and just getting rid of, well, and playing. Sorry, I'm not thinking, he's, yeah, I can't talk getting rid i was thinking that he got rid of my dce with the uh lost remover but okay so that's what that cofagoras does that's fine it's gonna get knocked out anyway let's go ahead and play this here switch into the mewtwo and do i want to end no not really my opponent doesn't have much anything at all so let's go ahead and just x ball i guess but yeah anyway just asking for a little bit of understanding on your guys' part that I'm super busy, but just know that I haven't forgotten about you guys. That is, that's not who I am. That's not what I do. And I'm not forgetting at all. Shadow Claw is gonna hit me super, yeah, it does hit me super effectively. Interesting. Oh, he doesn't have the weakness, huh? Well, what do you know? Uh, let's Tool Scrapper get rid of this and this. Here we go. And do I want to end? No, not really. So I guess I'm going to just play this energy here and knock him out with that. Take an extra prize. I mean, I know he will be able to knock me out with six feet under, but at the same time, I mean, I still have, he'll be able to get two prizes. I'll be uh, one, I'll be two prizes away from winning this game. And yeah, that's pretty much how it's going to go at this point. I'm super excited for Crimson Invasion. It's not going to do a whole lot to the meta. Like, I mean, I was saying that it's going to do something. Like, it is 100% going to do something. In fact, the Kartana in Metal, I can definitely... Yeah, the Kartana in Metal, I can definitely see doing some stuff. Like, being able to... Uh... Well, first of all, change the prize game. Like... If you play the odd, some people try to play the odd prize game, but the Kartana is going to just give you an extra prize. Like, that's just straight up what it does. So, there's that. Um, hmm, let's put up Mewtwo, because I have a float stone in my hand that I can use. And there isn't a whole lot my opponent can do. He can Psychic Pulse for 60, but then I can, yeah, I can just Max Potion that off. I'll be fine. And if I can get a Hypnotoxic Laser, that would be even better. So let's Max Potion up the Mewtwo, play this DCE right here. And what I was saying about Crimson Invasion is that it's going to... It's not going to be super ridiculously meta-defining, but at the same time, like, it's going to affect some stuff. Like, it will definitely have an impact on the metagame, just not in the same way that... Uh, just not in the same way that a another set would like a previous set would so i'm excited about it but it's not gonna do too ridiculously much to the meta that i mean again i'm still excited about it i think it is going to be very fun to use and i can't wait to bring you guys the decks that i have in mind yes i still have time to plan a couple decks here and there when i'm not thinking about school and not thinking about how much it is slowly killing me <laughs> uh but anyway we're finding really good like quick games on the legacy ladder tonight maybe i should have just done this as a tcgo live or a, not a tcgo live a deck video with the 
Mewtwo, Landorus, and Bouffalant deck because, I mean, at this rate, this is going very well. Um, for whatever reason, I'm getting a bunch of supporters early on, which isn't really a thing that I want, but, I mean... If I can get the supporters and the Pokemon, then that's fine. If I just get the supporters and nothing else, well, that means I have to mulligan, and that is less fine. So we are going up against a Dark deck, which should theoretically give us a huge advantage because of Glandorus, and then uh, if he runs Darkrai EX, Bouffalant does really well against that additionally. So I'm kind of, kind of hoping that this is just like a Darkrai deck that I will be able to take on, and wow. How many, oh my gosh. How many Pokemon, holy crap. It's gonna get like two more. Uh, start with the Buffalo and the Landorus. So how many, yeah, I mulligan twice. Um, what do I wanna do? Start with the Landorus, then play the Buffalo down. Uh, I'm gonna wait, see what type of Pokemon he's using. I'm still gonna play the DCE onto my Buffalant just because, uh, what is this? This is Sableye, and that's not doing a whole lot. So let's search your discard pile for any one card and put it on top of your deck. Well, that's nice for later, I guess. But yeah, I'm just gonna do, play that onto the Buffalant, and end my turn right there. I think Buffalant might just carry me through. I mean, I can Oko Ponyard, I can Oko Sneasel, I can Oko Zorua, so I should be, I should be pretty okay. Um, he does just grab the Bisharp, so Landorus will be necessary later, but as long as I can get, I just need an energy. I literally just need a single energy, then I can go up, knock out the Sableye, and, oh, he's running that Sharpedo as well, no! Oh, that Sharpedo gives me nightmares, and because, I mean, I kind of use that Sharpedo. Okay, so this is a uh, Zorark deck. Got it. Uh, Brutal Bash Zorark. That's kind of what I figured when I saw all those uh, dark Pokemon. So he only has a Plasma Ball and a Pecom, and considering he doesn't have a supporter, he's just going to put the Plasma Ball on top of his deck. Now, I do get an Oak, so what that means I'm going to do is just go ahead and do this... Switch into Buffalant, play that there. I'm just getting rid of as many cards as I can. That way I can hopefully draw into an energy, and that actually works out really, really, really well. Because what I can now do is Gold Breaker, um, and oh my gosh, the normal resistance came into play, guys. The normal resistance actually came into play. That is ridiculous. I did not realize that the Sable I had normal resistance. Wow. Well, um, Stick's not paying attention aside. Uh, <laughs> man, that is crazy. I've never, like, I, I really have never seen that. A normal resistance. Ah, that's the, that's those Heart Gold Soul Silver cards for you. Jeez. So what I think I'm actually going to do is probably just try to power up a Landorus. I don't even need to Oak's New Theory or anything like that. Just because it's going to do everything that I need. And if my opponent keeps, uh... Pull out, pulling out. Um, his pull out game is strong. Uh, okay, sorry, sorry. Kid friendly, sorry, forgot about that. And he, and no, no, I actually liked my hand. I liked having all that energy there. But what I was going to say is if he keeps pulling out, then that works as well. That definitely works. But the thing is, I don't think I'll want to play Mewtwo at all. What is he going to. He's probably going to put. Depends on what he drew. Okay, so he didn't have a supporter, so he is going to end this turn. That is fine. Uh, what I am going to do is just try to get more stuff out. Maybe another maybe another Landorus if I play another Landorus. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Get as many Landorus out as possible. Um, that way I can... Let's do this. I'm going to keep the Hypnotoxic Laser for later. And this works as well. So let's go ahead and Dual Ball once again. Grab... Eh, let's grab Mewtwo just because... Do I have anything good in the discard pile? I just have Switch, which I can use later. So you know what I'm actually going to do? Junk Arm, get rid of the Mewtwo and the Buffon, because neither of those are going to do a whole lot. To grab the Switch, just so uh, I can go straight into my Landorus. And then Hammerhead. Will that do... That'll do just enough to where um, Super Effective Hammerhead plus Hypnotoxic Laser will kill next turn. So I can even get a Pokemon Reversal which will be nice if I can like bring up a Weavile or something or 
And I guess Bisharp's right at right at 100, so... I mean, once again, we're up against a dark deck, so this is 1,000% in our favor from the very beginning. And he actually goes for a Pokemon Collector, which is interesting. Uh, maybe just to get more dark types out. That would be my guess. But what I can do... I can play the N. Um, Brutal Bash will be doing... 120, which is annoying. Uh, ooh, Darkrai. Okay, so Bouffalant is actually going to be doing some pretty nice stuff right now. So Darkrai is going to come out. So will Zorua and Carvana. Let's see, what can I knock out? I think I might actually try to bring up... Because that's doing 150, so I don't need to... So I don't need to hit the Darkrai. Uh, if I, I was about to say, if I could get a max potion, that'd be amazing. But what I'm going to do right here is nothing, is not that. Uh, play this energy onto this Landorus, and then Oak, hope I can draw into a uh, Hypnotoxic Laser, which I do. That's very nice. I will take that 1,000%. Verbank, Laser, and probably just hit the... I'll just hit the Weavile. Is that thing I can slowly chip down with... One, put it in range of one Hammerhead or two more Bench Snipings from Hammerhead and yeah and now Darkrai if I just snipe it once with Hammerhead will be in range of Bufalant's Gold Breaker which would be very nice so I might want to try to do that at some point I would think uh yeah if I can bring that if I can bring the Darkrai out later that will be ideal he brings in the Bisharp which I mean that's something that won't get knocked out and can actually hit me for I think 20 damage is that what yeah he'll be able to hit me for 20 damage which is fine uh, honestly I really don't care too much at this point I will start I will want to bring I will want to start sniping that Zorark on the bench that's going to be definitely a priority that way I can put it in range of a hammerhead and he does just slash it does a whole 20 damage so yeah good for you uh, let's play this there, play that to there, and then Juniper away my hand, see if I can get another laser or something like that. And I do technically. How do I want to do this? Do I want to... Let's go ahead and try to bring up his Zorark, because that thing's going to be a problem, never mind. Uh, let's play Junk Arm to grab... What am I even am I grabbing? I thought I had an, Id I had an idea with Junk Arm. But actually, let's grab the random receiver. Or did I want the... I want the hypnotoxic laser, actually. Now let's grab the hypnotoxic laser. That way, he'll be knocked out coming back into my turn if he decides to stay in with his Bisharp. And then I, I really want to hit that Darkrai. I really, really do. But I think Zorark is a little bit more of a priority right now. Just put that thing in range of a super effective hammerhead and go from there like I have enough energy like my energy count is just fine uh, he is starting to power up that Zorark so good thing that I'm starting to snipe that down if he does retreat his Bisharp then I will be able to snipe it with hammerheads and he is, does just end me which is honestly okay because I get Landerai <laughs> Landerises and Skyla, which can get me a Hypnotoxic Laser, depending on what he sends in. Uh, this way, no matter what he sends in, is going to be very, very significant damage. Um, he does just retreat with the Dark Cloak. That is fine, but what I can do is Skyla for a Hypnotoxic Laser and then get two knockouts this turn. Or I can just get the Hypnotoxic Laser. So it's actually Skyla for something else. Um, let's grab the Max Potion. Yeah, let's go for the Max Potion. Why the heck not? Just grab that, laser up the Zorark, and then we will take two prizes this turn with a knockout right here and a knockout on the Bisharp, the only two things that can really, like, do much damage to me at all at this point. And then the Zorark will go down to the poison damage, and booyah! Landorus is coming through gigantic, and this is honestly working out wonderfully for us like I don't think there's a way my opponent can sending out Weavile which is interesting 
Um, he's gonna. Tr I think he's gonna try to hail. Yeah, he's gonna try to hail, but that won't do anything to this Landris. It won't do anything to Bufalon, and it'll just hit these two Landeri for 10 damage, which really is not anything at all. And then I will be able to knock out this Weavile and put Darkrai in range of and put Darkrai in range of Goldbreaker next turn. So he does end up hailing, which only does 10 damage to these two. So I'm not worried at all. Let's go ahead and play this here so that way I have retreat options and you know what I think I'm just gonna straight up hammerhead because even if he evolves into Sharpedo then I will be able to use hypnotoxic laser to knock that to put that thing in range of a hammerhead from one of my lander I I know it's technically Landorus is but I'm saying lander I because I'm trying to be cool he goes into Carvana. I don't fully... Okay, this is why. Yeah, he's going to Sneasel. He's going to Pecom for a Sharpedo more than likely. Yeah, he is right there. So he's going to... If, if he strips Bear, then bravo. Like, if he's able to hit both heads, then, I mean, that's cool and all. But I'll still be able to knock it out. Or not knock it out. I'll still be able to, like... Well, I'll still be able to either I'll still be able to hammerhead it once and then hammerhead it again and it's in range of another hammerhead from my two other Landorus uh, and he does get the strip bear so that is kind of insane um, I get the DCE which actually wins me the game so what I'm gonna do is retreat into this Landorus DCE and then go for a gigantic lands judgment yes I would just to do way overkill actually you know what i needed it to knock out this sharpedo but it still does win me the game so uh yeah landorus came through right there and we're actually like on a decent little winning streak right here uh we wow won four in a row and as you can see guys i haven't been able to play at all i'm up to 100 like I i'm literally up to 100 on the versus ladder that is how little i have played and unfortunately i would like to do a longer video but I really need to get back to studying like I I use this as a little bit of a study break and also kind of a panic oh crap I don't have a video type of thing so uh, yeah be on the lookout for Crimson Invasion I'm I'm crossing my fingers that it's tomorrow I'm crossing my fingers that I'm gonna come home the codes are gonna be there I'm gonna put them in I'm gonna get the cards that I need and I'm gonna make that video and have it out that night but otherwise be on the lookout for that ASAP I'm gonna try to keep this up but we'll see We'll see if I can keep up the day of videos. If not, it's going up very soon, and then there will be other decks as well. So thank you guys so much for sticking with me through all this. I'm, it don't, it gets better after first year. It really does get better after first year. So fingers crossed. And uh, yeah, thank you guys again for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And this is Sticks signing out. Why not? See you guys.